evening, New York City. Welcome to 54 Below. Before we get started this evening, just a polite reminder, please take this moment to silence your cell phones. Also, there is no flash photography, please. Thank you. Now, please welcome to our stage, Darwin Del Favre. I learned about different cultures, languages, and the importance of diversity. It also helped me find and express my own voice. 
Tonight, I will be singing compositions by the Brazilian composer Antonio Carlos Jobim. I recently, I recently recorded an album revisiting some of his songs. All the lyrics were written by Jobim himself in English, rather than being translations. What I want to ask you is to be open to these different musicalities. I know that some of the sounds might be unfamiliar to some ears, or even out of key. But every choice has a purpose. I really hope you enjoyed the show.
many great memories in this room. I recently saw Pat Lupone here, and it reminded me that the first time that I came to 54 Below was 10 years ago, to see her. At that time, I couldn't speak a word of English. <laughs> so much has changed since that last boy sat in one of his chairs. I lied though. I wasn't that lost. I knew what I wanted. And I had so much hunger to achieve the things that I wanted to achieve. Art is fascinating. It has many hidden languages and secrets. And I'm so glad to share some of those secrets with you tonight.
sure you understand, especially musical lovers, how much I admire Jobim. But Jobim wasn't perfect. He was born a straight man. <laughs> Who wrote about girls from Ipanema, Asians. Fortunately, music goes beyond gender. 
And as a queer man, I had to create my own poetry about adapting, or as in the name of my last album, revisiting some of his songs. The next song that I will sing is called Jinji. Many people think, oh, yeah, many people think Jinji is a girl's name, but actually Jinji was a place, a farm. Tom used to go there to compose, and there he wrote some of his most beautiful compositions. I think places are a big part of who we are. I love Rio, I love my home country. It's a big part of who I am, and I'm so honored for the knowledge that comes with that. But I also love New York, the place that I have chosen to build my career, the place that I chose to have my house, the place where I can have my own piece of Jinji. <laughs> With far away clouds just wandering by Where do they go? Oh, I don't know Don't know Wind that speaks to the leaves Telling stories that no as the girl from the Ipanema bar when the phone rang. The waiter said, this is a long distant call with a guy who speaks strangely. I was able to figure out only your name, Mr. Jobim. <laughs> I just discovered that in 2023, only 5% of Brazilians speak English and only 1% fluently. I can begin to imagine what it was like in 1967 but that waiter to understand Jobim's name and pass along the call 
That's a radio miracle for me. <laughs> anyway, Gas was on the other end of the line. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, you heard that right. Frank Sinatra called Tom Jobim in a bar in Rio de Janeiro because everyone knew that if you couldn't find Tom at home, he would definitely be drinking at the Bulosa bar. <laughs> Tom picked up the call, having already had 20 glasses of beer, when Sinatra asked, Mr. Jobim, do you want to make a record with me? And that's how my favorite album of all time was born. The album was recorded in January of 1967 in Hollywood. And that album is the perfect combination of both of my worlds, America and Brazil. The classness of Sinatra mixed with the rhythmic soul of Jovi. 56 years later, this boy here still moved by that album. So thank you, Sinatra, Andrew B, and that waiter, <laughs> for making you believe that sometimes art is forever. And all 
leaves me sad Don't want you denied Don't wanna betray Don't wanna forget Like a day full of sun was written by Sergio Bittencourt and was the first samba song I've ever learned when I was a kid. The title of the song, Naquela Mesa, means in that table. Sergio wrote the lyrics of the song on a napkin, sitting in a bar right after his father passed. The song is a love letter about how much a son misses his dad and everything that he wants to tell him, but took him too long to say. Naquela mesa ta faltando ele. Translates to, that table is missing him. It's considered one of the most important samba songs ever written. And my dad's favorite song. My dad lives in Brazil, and despite our differences, he has always allowed me to be who I am. More than that, he supports and admires every choice I make. So I always want to make sure that he understands how much I love him. He's here today at this table. Ele sentava sempre 
E me dizia sempre o que é viver melhor Naquela mesa ele contava histórias Que hoje na memória eu guardo e sei de cor Naquela mesa ele juntava a gente E contava contente o que fez de manhã e nos seus olhos era tanto brilho Que mais que o seu filho Eu fiquei sem fã Eu não sabia Que doía tanto Uma mesa no canto Uma casa no jardim Se eu soubesse o quanto dói a vida Essa dor tão doída Agora resta uma mesa na sala E hoje ninguém mais fala do seu bambolim Naquela mesa tá faltando ele E a saudade dele tá doendo em mim Naquela mesa tá faltando ele E a saudade dele existential questions that sometimes there are no simple answers for you. Things are not that simple. Life is not that precise. Jobim wrote Waters of March, one of his most famous songs, and everyone wanted to know the meaning of every single one of those words. The stick, the stump, the end of the road. And he grew tired of trying to explain something so personal. He ended up saying that Waters of March was his meaning of life. 
uh, in Rio, March was known as the month of the rain. For Javin, the waters of March was the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. I love the idea of cycles. As an artist, cycles mean the chance to reinvent myself, the chance to be always evolving, finding new discoveries. Like March in Rio, or like March here at 54 Below, one more cycle ends and a new one begins. Not all needs to be explained, but I hope, I really hope, most of you can feel it.
Sabia became my escape. Like a mantra, I always went back to that sound, transporting me to the, transporting me to those magical places that I created. Independent of where I am, I can always find courage and strength in the sound of my Sabia. Oh, oh, oh. 
those mistakes I made just to find myself. Vou voltar, sei que ainda vou voltar para o meu. director and friend, Phil Hall. And this amazing musician is one honor to share the stage tonight. Rebecca Cherry, violin. Adrian Galarov, cello. Keith Krupi, percussion. Thank all of you for coming to this journey with me. You're being an amazing audience. One last thing. If you like to bring me home with you, <laughs> there is a barcode on your table <laughs> where you can download my latest album. Uh, actually, all the musicians on the stage tonight are in that recording. So, yeah, so you can bring us all home with you. Last song, uh, I doubt any of you know. <laughs> Tall and tall and young and lovely the girl from Ipanema goes walking in. When she passes, each one she passes goes. <laughs> when she walks, she's like a summer, the swing so cool and swing so gentle that when she passes, each one she passes goes. Through the sea, 
I have one more for you. 